Tommy Wright, a victory this afternoon. Congratulations. First bit of silverware in the cabinet. You've done it all yourself. You've put this team together. How do you feel? I think you just summed up it there, to be honest with you. Um, we obviously had a blank canvas to work with in the summer. I thought it was lads that we wanted to keep. Um, a few moved on. Um, but absolutely delighted with the squad that we put together. There'll probably be one or two more additions, but overall, delighted. I think we've got some really exciting players. Um, and it's, it will excite the fans and I'm delighted the fact that we managed to get them here and on contracts as well and that can only go well to the football club. It was a bit of a slow burner. If we look at the start of the game, it took 40 minutes before the first goal went in. But it was hot. It's not easy conditions playing in July, is it? No, it's not. It was hot, like you say. The, um, the pitch was absolutely rock hard as well. And it, it's not really ideal to be playing on that, to be honest. It's not had too much work done it over the summer. Um, probably this week we started on it, so... Pitch didn't really help us, but like you say, it's, it took us a while to get going. But I think when we did, we looked a lot stronger second half. And I think, especially in attacking areas, I thought we looked sharp and creative, and, and we lost all goals. One 0 of course, at half time. Second half started. A couple of goals went in up to the hour mark, and uh, it, coasting almost. Then wholesale changes after that. You want to see as many of these players you've got available to you playing football, don't you? Well, there's a couple of lads still on trial, um, and then we've got a great group of youngsters. I think having the 18s. Um, set up this summer and that's really going to help us moving forward and like you say it's, it is about looking at these players and I think we do need a group as well last year obviously we got caught out towards the end and when it, injuries hit and lads moved on we were really short and that situation will never happen again obviously we've got the Luke Patrician the two lads that featured today are, are, are a part of that academy and it, it can only help us moving forward the fact that we have got that wealth now as a depth if you like that we can we can call upon when we need to I mean, like you see there's some young lads and they are good enough and they're very capable footballers a lot of friendlies coming thick and fast now away Tuesday night versus Diamonds that's going to be a tough match and then back here at Steel Park on Wednesday versus Leeds we have got a really tough um, schedule coming up obviously we're going to mix the squads for Tuesday um, Wednesday will be more more of the first team players that played the first half today and it will be a completely different game to what we experienced today and it will, all, it's, it will, be all, it will test our, how compact we are as a team and as a defensive unit and uh, I spoke to the boys before the game and to be honest my only priority today was, was staying compact and um, keeping that clean sheet, I really wanted a clean sheet today. Um, I think we were too sloppy last year, we conceded a lot of sloppy goals um, and moving forward we can win 1-0 every week, I'll, I'll be absolutely delighted. And I think we've got we've, we've got the numbers in attack, we've got goals. Um, with Demi today, he had, he, we put the ball in the back of the net twice. Um, I won't clear off the line, but you can see that he's a natural goal scorer. He's awkward to play against. Spencer Weir daily scored goals his whole career. It's, it's good. Millsy and Wilson will score goals. So you look through it, some really good performances today, and I think um, it's, it's, it is really exciting moving forward. Lots of talent on the park, and of course, three weeks today you start the new campaign. Brand new season kicks off. The fixtures are out. Pleased with the fixtures? You've got to play every team twice, obviously. Does it really matter when they when they fall? No, it doesn't. I think um, the last month of the season is pretty um, pr pretty tough. Um, I'm surprised that's been judged the way it has been. But let's go and put ourselves in a position to to worry about the last month of the season. I think if we if we're up there. Like we, like we expect ourselves to be and like we probably expect to by the fans, I think we'll deal with that situation. I think we've, at the end of last season was a lot more to deal with than a couple of the away fixtures at the end. And it's just, I don't think there's any easy games in this league anyway, so I'd be naive to think that they are and to say that I think we've got an easy start. So I'm not going to. We will judge every team on its merit and, and we, we'll try and get three points as we will against any, any other side of this league. As the manager of Corby Town, do you feel the expectation that some of the fans are feeling? It, it seems that everything is positive at Corby Town at the moment. Uh, the kit is wonderful, everybody likes it. The season ticket sales are up. The football looks like it's going to be absolutely blistering. Are you feeling that? I think the expectancy is something that I'm actually proud to be a part of. The fact that you know a new consortium have come in, the, the kits, everything, the squad that we've put together. I am proud to be the manager of this football club and moving forward there is a lot of excitement but the whole the whole feel for the club feels so much different and everyone is excited about it so the fact that there's that expect it like the expectancy nobody more nobody around this place will be expecting it more than myself and the group of lads that we've got in that dressing room they're fully aware of 
what's expected of them and, and, and they know what they can achieve this year and I'm sure they will go on and, and prove people right. Thanks very much Tommy, congratulations today. Nice bit of silverware. Yeah, it's the first in <laughs>